We are brothers from the Gathering of Christ Church. Amen. And we come out here. We're actually from New York. We're not even from Newark. We're not from New Jersey. We come out here. Um, we come out here as disciples and servants of Christ. Nothing more, nothing less. We're not going to ask you for any money. We're not going to ask you for a thing. The only thing we ask is that you pay attention a little bit. We're in some real dark times. We've been meaning to make it out to Newark, but we got so many boroughs in New York that we hit constantly in so many areas. But after we heard that there was 10 killings in 10 days in Newark, we said, you know what? And they said the community are crying out. The community is crying out. We had to come, we had to come by. It's, I mean, we're, we're at the point where there is no regard for human life. And it's coming for our people, blacks and Hispanics. Get Deuteronomy. You'll find out if you knew who you were, if you knew who you actually were according to the Bible, you wouldn't be looking at your brother with such an evil eye ready to kill him over a flag, over a color of a flag, over some drugs, over some money. Some money, some money that's about to flatline anyways. You wouldn't be looking at your brother with such an evil eye. But don't you know that the reason you're doing that is because you are facing the curses that are written up in the Bible? Don't you know that the Holy Bible speaks about curses that will befall the people, the children of Israel? Do you think it's just coincidence that we're in the situation we're in? That we're the bottom of the barrel? The last hide in the first fire? That we, no matter what revolution we try to, no matter what black Panther Party, no matter what type of organization we tried to come together in peace, it always ends in disaster. Why? Because we're not coming through with the proper way. We have to come through Christ. We have to come through the Most High. Don't you know that the Most High looks at us favored? He says we're favored over all nations. He says we're favored. He chose us to be a light unto the world. But being that we transgress what he said, he put in the condition we're in now. Where there could be 10 killings in 10 days in one city. One city. This city right here. Don't you know your history is in the Bible? If you knew that, you wouldn't be looking at your brother so evil. We would be conducting ourselves in a more righteous manner. We don't even hawk it. But the good thing was says, uh, and I said, what's it? You know what I said? Isaiah 14, I believe. Go get that in Deuteronomy 28. If the last thing you do, as far as taking any information for us, go read Deuteronomy in your Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Start from verse 1 and go all the way to 68. We are the children of Israel. Prove us wrong. If you can prove us wrong, we'll stop talking. We'll, we'll, we'll close down. We'll shut down the microphone. All of us will go back to New York where we came from. But you cannot prove us wrong. You are black, Hispanic, Native American. You are suffering these curses. You are the children of Israel. Point blank. Let's read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Father, don't you know that the Father chose us out of all nations? And all he wanted us to do was execute what he had in store for the world. Because the world was living in paganism. Since the days of Abraham, when he chose Abraham, he said, I'm going to make you a father of nations, but I will select your seed. Your seed will enter into the promised land. And we were in the promised land. And those people that are inhabiting that land right now are not the chosen people. And this ain't racism. This is just fact. Read that. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. He said, I'll set you on high, and he did. Listen, for every 300 men we had, you, the other nations needed at least three to 5,000 to even compete with us. That's how strong we were. Look at us now. Something's up. Something is up. You need to know your history or you're doomed to repeat it. Read. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass, and thou not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, so he's saying, if you don't, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord that God to do all his commandments, what's going to happen? 
and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, if you don't listen to me, these curses that we're about to read are going to come upon you and overtake you. We are a cursed people if you haven't noticed already. What you should be doing is inquiring why it is that we are cursed. Why is it that we're in these conditions? Read. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. Look at us. You know when we are cursed in the field? When we are dragged over here on slave ships and, and made to serve. When the indigenous Indians were conquered by the conquistadors and the Puritans and made to serve, we were cursed in the field. Hey, Jamal, can you come over here and fix the uh, treble a little bit? You know how to work it a little better. Read. Verse, verse 28. The Lord shall spite you with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. He said, we will, he will smite you with blindness. Read that again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Come on, look at us. You have to be mad to be running around grabbing a flag and claiming that you love that flag more than you, than you love your fellow man. You have got to be mad. Look at us, we're running around drugged out, bumped out on every type of drug that comes out. We're the first to try it, first to buy it, first to sell it. That's us. Don't you see? This is in the Bible. This Bible is not a fairy tale. Christianity, that's good, brother, thank you. Christianity has put a veil over this Bible, so now we look at it like, oh, man, this is some, that's some BS, man. What goes on in those churches, that can't be real. That can't be the Bible. If that's the Bible, I don't want nothing to do with it. And you know what? We don't blame you. But if you separate Christianity and just read the Bible for what it is, you'll see that the Bible is such a deep book. As, as your history... It has good proverbs that'll set somebody morally upright. It has songs and psalms that you can sing to the Father. And it also has dark sayings and prophecy. And the history of Christ, your Lord and Savior. We need to wake up. Read. And this ain't, listen, this ain't just a black thing or a Hispanic thing. We ain't, listen, the Bible's for everybody, but there is an order. To the Jew first, just like Paul said, to the Jew first and then the Gentile. Because we are those that are supposed to show the light. That's just how it is. <laughs> That's just how it is. Read. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. We will not prosper in our ways. Look at us. We don't own anything. And if we do, it's very far and few in between. We don't own anything. We do not own anything. And if we do, like I said, it's far and few in between. We are, we are the children of Israel. Right here. We are the children of Israel. That's us right here. Believe it or not, do the research. We got, listen, this is just a fraction of the books we got. History that we can correlate with the Bible to prove to you that, listen, it's real. Jump around, brother, go ahead. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy what? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fear with longing for them all the day long. You know when that happened? During slavery. During slavery, our children were stripped out of our hands. The European Jews that say they're Jews, they can't claim this. They can't say this happened to them. It did not happen to them. This happened to us. The transatlantic slave trade. The transatlantic slave trade is Bible prophecy. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You won't be able to do nothing. We couldn't stop the slave masters from taking our children from us. The only thing we can do is just look at them, like the Bible says, and laugh for them all the days long. All the days long. Read. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, absolutely. So what is that? What are you, you saying that's in the Bible? Yeah, absolutely. But you know what happened to us? The transatlantic slave trade. You can't compare 
You can't compare, let me say this, bro, I'm gonna let you talk. You can't compare six million so-called, and that's not even an accurate number. Six million Jews compared to hundreds of millions of so-called Negroes dying on Where we were traveling from, they were throwing the babies overboard. Absolutely. All right, but I know about evolution, brother, but I hear what you say, brother. They were eating, yeah. No, we don't believe in evolution, brother. I'm sorry. We can't teach that. We can't, we can't agree with that. It ain't got nothing to do with what God created, but I ain't getting into that. Brother. All right, brother. Well, well, okay. Bless you, and brother. I know. Science ain't got nothing to do with God created everything. All right. Well, we agree on that. God did create everything. So let's uh, let's keep reading, brother. Go ahead. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. An astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Every name that people, nations have put upon us, we're carrying to this day. Whether it be nigger, whether it be spick, wet back, whatever it, what, monkey, whatever it may be, that's us. We were made a reproach and a, and a byword and a proverb because of our disobedience, because we transgressed the Father's law. Come on, you, you can't look around in our condition and say that it's, it's for no reason. We were a special people to God, that we still are special. But we're using our, our special gifts to entertain the world, to entertain and please the world, whether it be through music or sports, whatever it may be. We are gifted people. We are the soul of the earth, just like, just like the Bible says. But we got to understand with great, with great power comes great responsibility. We have a job to show the world how to conduct themselves. Look how the world's running themselves now. Come on. Chemtrails being sprayed every day. FEMA camps being set up. The economy is about to be imploded. Your dollar that you have in your bank account is about to be, be worth nothing. Seriously. All these things are a result of us, our transgression. And it's not going to get in order. It's not going to get better. Barack Obama's not going to do nothing. It's not going to get better until Christ is in rulership. And he's coming very soon. If you can't see the signs in the air, you need to get your head out of the sand and start reading this book and pay attention to what's happening globally. Because the signs are right there. Read. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. You know why? Because when we deliver children, they were taken right from us. They were taken right from us and used however they were used. That's slavery. Read. For they shall go into captivity. All that trees and fruit of, the, of thy land shall the locusts consume. Jump down to 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. And hunger. In what? And hunger. In what? And hunger. And in thirst. And in nakedness. The Most High sent enemies to us to pick us to pick us up from the west coast of Africa. The ivory coast of Africa. And he said you'll serve them in what? And hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. We wanted everything. We wanted freedom. We wanted, we wanted, we wanted food. But it was not going to happen. It was not going to happen. This is your Bible, the same book that's maybe collecting dust on your on your dresser, the same book that you probably are reading yourself. You need to look at it a little deeper. Please. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. A what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who did that happen to? Who did that happen to? That did not happen to the European Khazars, the European Jews. That happened to us. We had a yoke of iron of, uh, around our neck. Around our neck. Please. Until he has destroyed thee, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flyer. As swift as the eagle flyer. That shows you that it was a European nation that did this. And this ain't no attack on the Europeans or the white man and this and that. We don't do that. We did that to ourselves. You can't blame the white man for everything that happens to you. You got to get out that mentality. It's not the white man's fault that we're in, we're in the condition we're in. 
It wasn't a white man that killed 10 people in 10 days in Newark, New Jersey. That was us. We did that to each other. That was us. We need a grab, especially the men. We need to man up and start taking responsibility for the wickedness that we're perpetrating. We, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't understand their tongue. Why? Because we're speaking different forms of Hebrew. We, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the persons of the old, nor show favor to the young. Jump down to 68. This is the most profound verse in the Bible when it comes to our curses. If this ain't us, listen, we're going to close up the book and leave. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. The last verse, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt, right here, this word means bondage. We went into Egypt once and served hundreds of years of captivity. But he said, I will bring you into Egypt again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. Cargo slave ships that brought us over to the land that we served. We had a yoke of iron put around our neck. We were in hunger and thirst. We wanted every, everything but what we got. And what we got was slavery. What we got was servitude. Read. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. What? You sh and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You know when that happened? This brother right here, right? Negro slave, right? Oh, you want him? All right, sold to Mr. Tom in Mississippi. Right here, another one, right? He's nice and strong, right? Sold to uh, Paul over in Kansas. That's what happened. We were sold to our enemies. We. For bond men and bond women. For what? For bond men and bond women. Slave man and slave women. That's in the Bible. Why isn't your preacher and pastor speaking about this? Don't you think if you knew that you came from such a rich lineage that you would conduct yourself a little better? Right? You wouldn't be so quick to kill. You wouldn't be so quick to sell drugs to your brother and sister. You wouldn't be so quick to have so much hatred and anger in your heart. You'd be quicker to, to listen to the Father and pay attention to what's going on in this world. Get out there 42 and 22, please. Listen, we're in the last days. This truth is coming out. And we know that we're prophesying, we're speaking into the wind, because a lot of people, they don't want to hear it. We are too comfortable in our, in our condition. We are too comfortable in what we have, which is really nothing. Most of us are living paycheck to paycheck. On top of that, most of us are listen, living disability paycheck to disability paycheck. Food stamps, we're so, we're so dependent on the system. What do you think's gonna happen when they take all this stuff away from us? What do you think? We have a good idea. These internment FEMA camps that are set up, guess what? You'll be food for the fire. You're gonna work off your debts. You're gonna work to get what they're gonna give you. And, and another thing that they're gonna give you is this right here. Mark of the Beast, RFID chip. That's real. That's us, man. Wake up. We have got to wake up. Ten killings in ten days. You gotta be killing me. And it's only gonna get worse. It's not like any of this is gonna get better. It's gonna get to the point where, listen man, Christ is gonna have to come back, man. After all these catastrophes and, and Bible prophecy takes place. He's gonna have to come back. It's only us. You got that in Isaiah? Read that. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So the ox knoweth his owner, right? Read. And the ass his master's crib. The ass his master's crib. Read. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. He said Israel. Hold up that, that sign, brother. Israel doth not consider. Our people don't even consider that we, this is us. We had the rich history. We had the opportunity to show the world how to conduct themselves in righteousness. So we were even around when Christ was around and we crucified him. We, listen, we said, let the curse come upon us. We gave him up. That's only us. An ass knows his master, 
Listen, I know his master, but we do not know that the Father created us, man. Don't you know he said he created the world for your sake? We don't even consider. We don't even want to think for a second. Gotta be us, man. Gotta be us. Drop that and get rebellious children. Ezekiel. What you got? Hold that. You can't see the days we're in. You gotta wipe your eyes, man. Get the, get the cross out your eyes. It's crucial right now. And the reason we came all the way from New York to come out here and speak is because, listen, we know there's no truth out here. We know that, we know that the pastors and preachers are doing nothing but gathering together with another politician, singing a couple songs, protesting for a couple days, but they're not getting to the root of why this is happening. The root of why this is happening is because we are cursed people. We are cursed. And the only way to start to get these curses lifted from us is to come back to the Heavenly Father and start to keep His statutes and commandments, to follow in the likeness of His Son, who looked like you, to be baptized for the remission of your sins, the ending of your sins. You have got to put on a new man and woman. You've got to put on a new image. It's up to us. If you're hearing the voice, listen, it's for a reason. Do the research. Open up your Bible. Read Deuteronomy 28. Read it. Start to read it, but look at it in the, from the perspective that this is your history book. This is not the white man's book. The white man didn't write this book. We wrote this book. Inspired by the Holy Spirit. We wrote it. We don't want to believe it. We want to keep thinking our, slave, our, our history started after slavery. Don't you know we were ruling Europe before the Dark Ages? We got the history on that too. King James was a black man. Christ was a black man, according to Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 13. Why we're saying all this is not to be on a racist type of position. It's to show you that you're more than what you think you are. You're more than what society has portrayed to you. It isn't a coincidence that every time, most of the times when you're looking at these shows and these movies, we're playing drug dealers, gang members, crackheads and pimps. There's a reason for that. Because the same people that are producing these Hollywood films and, and shows are the same people that stole your identity. That stole it, yes. So it's in their best interest to, get, to, to go, uh, continue the lie. To keep you thinking that you, you are what they're portraying. When you're more than that. You are more than that. You gotta believe it. You gotta see it. Let's read more Bible scriptures that prove that these Europeans over here are not living these curses. Let's get that in Isaiah. You got that? Oh, you got Isaiah, right? I hold what you got. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. This is the Bible. This is Old Testament. Read. But this, listen, we can read from the old to the new. We read the whole book. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Robbed and spoiled. We will rob the spoil. We're continuously robbed and spoiled. Read. They are all the snared in holes. We are snared in holes. What? Our mental captivity, our spiritual captivity is the holes we're in. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. We are hid in prison houses. Are these Europeans filling up the populations in the jails? No. 80 to 85 percent of the prison population are blacks and Hispanics. Blacks and Hispanics fill up these jails, working for nothing, cents on the dollar. And these, and these privatized industrial, prison industrial complexes. Read that again. The, and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey and none delivering. None deliver. All these different political figures and religious leaders, they will continuously try to deliver us, but no man will deliver us, just like it said in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. No man will deliver you. Christ is the only being that will deliver you. He came and died some 2,000 years ago, and he gave you the blueprint on how to make it into the kingdom. It's in the book. Read. 
for is spoil and none save for store. Nobody's saying we're store. Look at us. Nobody's caring what we're saying. Nobody's caring the wisdom and truth that's coming out this Bible. Nobody's like, yo, the Father will store our condition. Nobody's crying out to the Father. Why? Because we're so... What you got? Go ahead, brother. Verse 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who among you is going to... Thank you, brother. Who's going to give ear to this? Who of you are going to listen? There's only going to be a few. Christ said, many are called, but few are chosen. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. Who of us are going to give ear to this, man? Who? Listen, man. The blindness, the blindness that we're under is only going to get stronger and worse. Because you don't understand that not only because of our curses and, and, and what, we, what we've, uh, the psychological ramifications of what we went through, but it's also the sorcery that is being implemented on a high level through the media, through the music, through all these inner forms of entertainment. There's real sorcerers pushing this energy out, this spirit out into these, into these CDs that you're buying and things of that nature. And these celebrities like Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay-Z, these people that we idolize so much, they've already made a pact with Satan. That's real. They, these are Freemasons and Eastern stars working as puppets for the Illuminati. But that's your God. That's your idol now. That's who you want to be like. Anything, anything Beyonce got on, we want to get on real quick. Anything Little Wayne's wearing, we want to wear. It is, it is who we are, lost, a lost people, but we are not forsaken. We are lost, but not forsaken. The Father is giving us the opportunity. He's like, you know what? These people, they turned their back on me so many times, but his mercy is so endless that he said, I'm going to stretch out my arm continuously. But it's going to come to a point where he's going to take that arm right back. And there'll be no more extending of the arm. It'll be done. It'll be done. And that's, and that's when we'll seek him. And we'll try to find him. But he's not going to be around here. Don't you know that there'll be a time where even hearing he, the word right now is scarce. But according to the book of Amos, it says that there'll be a famine in the land, not of food, not of water, but of hearing the word of the Most High. We're in those times, and it's only going to get worse. That NDAA that passed in 2011 December, 2011 in December, excuse me, 31st, while everybody was partying, don't you know one of the terrorist characteristics speaks about People that preach apocalyptic type of uh, understanding are considered terrorists now. So, doing what we're doing right now can land us in jail. The CIA can run up, can run up in our crib, detain us without any type of uh, just uh, jury or any type of uh, court due process. Excuse me, thank you. Any type of due process, bring us through the ringer, and you'll never hear from us again. Never. That yo, Barack Obama passed that. Why? Because Barack Obama, in the, he's in bed with the beast. He's in bed with the beast, believe it or not. He's in bed with the beast. Wake up. Wake up. No man is going to deliver us out of this. The kingdom of heaven is within you. You have to see that. I don't know what it's going to take. I mean, with all the with all the increase in violence and, and just like senseless violence, I don't know how nobody can sit back and consider like, yo, hold on, man. What is going on? What is really going on? You might be thinking that, but I guarantee you, you're distracted within a couple of a couple of hours. We get distracted like this, and and all the distractions out there. All